name's Andrew and I'm part of the Downham congregation. Today's devotional is taken from Genesis chapter 4, verse 8 to 16. And the verse I want to look at today is verse 9, which says, Then the Lord said to Cain, Where is your brother Abel? I don't know, he replied. Am I my brother's keeper? Now, a few verses back, in verses 6 to 7, we see that God is outlining what Cain did wrong and what he can do right next time. Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? God also gives a stern warning to the dangers of sin in verse 7. If you do what is right, you will, not, will you not be accepted? But if you not, do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. And then God comes to Cain and asks him a question. God knows what's happened to Abel. He's not asking because he can't find Abel. God knows that Cain has killed Abel. And God even says what has happened. In verse 10, God says, Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. God is providing Cain an opportunity to confess. He is full of grace and compassion towards Cain, like a loving father. But when we do wrong, God's desire for us is to repent, to turn away from it and admit what we did wrong. He's not like an angry headmaster wanting to punish us. The punishment was put onto Jesus. He knows that sin will ruin us, so he wants us to turn away from it. So God asks Cain, where is your brother Abel? And Cain replies, I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? He responds out of guilt and his, his words are kind of hostile towards God. But if only if he had realised that God wanted the best for him. From then on, Cain is under a curse and is driven from the land. And when we mess up, we fail others or we fail God. What is our response? Sometimes we might bury our head in the sand and pretend that nothing is wrong and nothing has happened. Sometimes we might be angry or bitter to whomever we have wronged, especially if they call us out on what we did wrong. But the right response is found in Psalm 32 verse 5. David, the guy who wrote this psalm, says, Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. So when you mess up, if you've messed up, don't waste time. Don't run from God, but run to him.